What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at a complete breakdown of Trials this weekend. So if you're looking for the map, loot and the flawless rewards, then this will be the video for you. Now if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. It is Friday once again inside Destiny 2 and with that we've seen Zer return and also Saint-14 has returned with Trials of Osiris. So if you're looking to find out everything you need to know about this weekend's event, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. Now before we jump into the meat of today's video, we have recently partnered with our friends over at Loot Crate. Now these provide exclusive loot via a surprise package delivered straight to your door each and every month. And these can include things like pop culture figures, t-shirts, home goods and more items that you can't get anywhere else. Now if you guys weren't aware, there's an exclusive Destiny collectibles apparel and gearbox available. So this will include things from the Destiny universe and exclusive and officially licensed collectibles apparel and gear delivered each quarter. So these will be delivered every three months and these will cover the four key destinations starting off with Earth, moving on to Europa, the Moon and finally finishing off with Nessus. So if you're a bit of a Destiny collector like myself, be sure to check these out. I've got an exclusive affiliate link in the video description below. And also you can get 15% off by using code JAR15 at the checkout as well. I'll leave all the details in the video description. So be sure to take a look and check them out. Now jumping back into trials, first things first, be sure to head over to Saint 14 in the tower and grab the weekly trials bounty. If you're not able to get three consecutive wins or more, this will allow you to get a Trials Engram and at least get the reward from the third win if you're unable to get three consecutive wins. So if you struggle to get consecutive wins, be sure to grab this just to make sure you don't end up with no loot from the event. And with your Trials Bounties in hand and also your Passage in your inventory, it's time to jump into the map this week. Now the map this week is the Dead Cliff, so we return back to the European Dead Zone. It's one of the smaller PvP maps on offer, but one where we'll see sniper rifles taking the forefront of most of the engagements. If you can get an early pick, then you'll be in a good position to push the enemy team pretty much from anywhere here on the map. Now the main capture zone can be found between A and B on the platform there, so be sure to get comfortable with that location just in case you get those KG matches which could go down to the capture zone. Massive shout out to Crucible Playbook for this callout map. I've provided a link to the Reddit post which has all the callout maps in the video description below. So be sure to use this to help you with callouts for this weekend. So we know what the map is for this weekend, but what is the loot? What rewards do you get from this weekend's event? Well, for free wins this weekend, you can get your hands on the Astral Horizon. This is a legendary kinetic shotgun. It's an aggressive frame, so it's hard hitting, has high recoil but it increases its rate of fire after each kill. Now this goes down as one of the best kinetic shotguns currently available inside Destiny 2. It has some great magazine options, even things like Assault Mag, which can further increase its rate of fire, but also Accurize Rounds, which can also improve its range. In terms of its legendary traits, it can roll with things like Slide Shot and Quick Draw in the middle column. And in the final column, you've got a great choice. You can even go one, two punch if you're looking for that PVE roll. If you're looking for a PVP roll, an opening shot is your preferred option there. Bear in mind as well as a trials weapon, it has the option of rolling with celerity where you gain the following effects while you're the last living member on your fire team. And this will improve your target acquisition, your handling and reload speed, as well as reducing flinch from all incoming fire. So if you don't have a good Astral Horizon, this may be your opportunity this week with it being available with just three wins. And remember, if you're not able to get three consecutive wins, be sure to complete at least three wins as part of the trials bounty to ensure you can get this from your trials engram. And if you're able to get to five wins this weekend, you can get your hands on a tomorrow's answer. This is the legendary power rocket launcher. It's also a high impact frame. So again, slow firing and high damage. And this weapon is more accurate when you are stationary and aiming down sights. Rocket launchers aren't the most popular inside Destiny 2. Hopefully they'll see some changes with Beyond Light, but you can still get some good rolls even on this launcher. It can run with things like tracking module, as well as Cluster Bomb, which seems to be the go-to role on pretty much any rocket launcher. So if you don't have a good one, it still may be worth getting up to five wins to see if you can get at least a good roll ahead of any potential changes in the up-and-coming DLC. Now, if you're able to get to seven wins with your fire team, you can get your hands on a pair of boots. So you'll have to get up to seven wins this week before you can get your hands on any armor in this weekend's event. Boots are some of the most desirable pieces though, so you will need to go pretty much a full card of seven wins in order to get your hands 
hands on them. So if you haven't got them for your full set, then be sure to get those fire teams together and give seven wins a try to get your hands on these amazing boots. Now, if you're able to achieve a flawless victory in this weekend's trials event, you will get your hands on a new pair of gauntlets. So gauntlets are the flawless reward this week. So seven and a flawless win will be what you'll need in order to get your hands on any armor in this weekend's event. So this weekend is very much about the weapons. If you need a good shotgun, then it's only going to take you three wins to get that. If you need gauntlets to complete your set, you'll need to go flawless this weekend in order to complete your armor. And finally, another thing to remember as well, if you're able to achieve a flawless passage, you have a chance to get your hands on the exotic sparrow and also the exotic ghost exclusive to Trials of Osiris. And as you can see, they are very ornate and well worth the effort if you're able to achieve a flawless victory so there we have it guys that's going to wrap up the trials reset for this week let me know how you found the video down below and let me know what loot you're able to get from this weekend's event as well if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm gonna jump back into the game as always guys but i will catch you all again very soon